our Holly Morris is learning how to be a medical assistant this morning. She is at the MedTech Institute in Silver Spring, Maryland, where they train students in healthcare careers. This morning, we're talking about medical assistants. Good morning, Holly. Good morning to you. And you know what they say here? They say their mission is your future. And right now, there is a whole lot of potential future in the medical assistant world. And so we've been doing some classes here this morning, learning a little bit about the different techniques that one would need to be in a medical assistant, and also just learning about the overall process in general when it comes to going to school here. Dr. Amir Kreshi is back with us. He's the regional executive director for the Mid-Atlantic region, and Iola Wilson and Marcy are both graduates of the program and can to attest to the fact that it's definitely made a difference for them. So, on any given program, if you're going to be a medical assistant, how many different things are you going to learn? I mean, we've only touched on, we're going to touch three things this morning, but... You go from soup to nuts, basically, looking at taking somebody's uh, vital signs, which mm -hmm. is the most uh, vital portion of the thing in a general health screen that you will do. So you'll learn it as the person comes in from the communication, customer service, asking histories, and performing blood pressure, pulse, temperature, respiratory rate, EKG, pulmonary function test, given injections, uh, taking blood, doing EKGs, ear test. So okay, there's a whole you stuff. Learn a lot. I got it. How, <laughs> to, how to learn the uh, how to do the eye testing, and so there's there's a lot. And uh, you and I were chatting off camera about why this field is growing so much, and there's basically two reasons. That's correct. Number one is the high, there was an article published back in 08 in Times Magazine which stated two reasons. Number one, high raise, high cost for the healthcare, mm -hmm. sure. and second. November 2011, 70, approximately 70 percent of the U.S. population is retiring. So we're not ready for the in, in, enough manpower to put it out. The demand, the field of medicine. The demand is at, not meeting it. Uh, yeah, Absolutely. right. We need more supply. You are our supply. So what are we learning now, ladies? An injection. You're going to do an injection, and uh, what we are demonstrating here is uh, a model of the glutes, uh, the glutes, basically. And the back side. The back side. <laughs> <laughs> diplomatically correct. We always do it on the upper outer quadrant, and one of the reasons that we want to do this is we want to avoid the one of the biggest nerve. This is a sciatic nerve in the body that you do not want to hit it. So if you divide these into four quadrants, you're avoiding the three quadrants that you will not hit the nerve. Otherwise, you will send the signals down and electrical impulses, which is very discomforting for a patient. I want to watch you guys go ahead and do it. And as you're doing it, Iola or Marcy, either one of you can, can respond to this. But what do you think, what kind of person does it take to be a medical assistant? Um, you have to be willing to learn, be open-minded. Aspirate. And you do learn a lot. No blood. What have you gotten out of your job? Um, good very job. good experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you find it rewarding to be yeah, able to yeah. help people? Yes, it is. Great yes, job. And you have to be people friendly as well. What about you, Marcy? What have you gotten out of your job? Oh, well, it's like it's a lot of things, you know, and the good thing is like uh, you just have to treat the people that they're patient and they're already on pain, so you don't have to help them, you know. So. What would be your advice to anyone that might be considering going into this profession? If you like to work with people, mm -hmm. as something, it's, it's, an, it's a way to to help people, you mm -hmm. know, and it's like, uh, just... Can you help just this guy put some weight on? I think he's a little skinny. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, you can do that too. <laughs> Real so quickly, okay. before we go, I wanted to make sure we get in. You guys did just get a, a recently a new accreditation? That's correct. We acquired, Metech acquired a Radiance College, which is also located in Washington, D.C., and uh, they have an LPN and RN program, uh, which is a degree granting program. And also, you have financing programs available. That to is people. correct. That All is correct. Right. Right Very good. I feel just healthier being here because <laughs> I'm in such good hands. Thank you guys so Thank much. MyMoxPC.com is our website. We have a link to MedTech Institute if you want to find out more about the opportunities that are available now. Tony? All right, Holly. Thank you very much. Good stuff there. Good stuff here. The